Well, meantime, detectives returning to the scene of the crime following a bloody weekend that's left three families to visit a morgue and make funeral preparations while another prays for their teen loved one to pull through. Our Lloyd Allen has more from police who today confirmed a number of people are being questioned in relation to these incidents. Police confirming a 17-year-old is one of the two victims of the uh, recent shooting in the Montel Heights area. And as a result of that, they've beefed up their patrols with officers from a number of departments making their tours in a number of areas. The three of the homicides so far for this weekend, it appears that they are connected. Officer in charge of the Criminal Investigations Department, Chief Superintendent Michael Johnson, confirming a correlation between all incidents with a number of suspects now in custody. We have several persons in custody that we're speaking with, um, and we're, we're seeing how far that goes. If there's evidence, um, they will be uh, brought before the court. Regarding the Montel Heights incident, Johnson gave this update in addition to confirming both victims were teens. The two persons were just uh, south of where I am, sitting in a yard when they were approached by gunmen who opened fire and shot. Uh, both victims. The second victim is still detained in hospital. Yes, we have a uh, short spotter which has been very helpful to us. Um, it is locking down a timeline and that too has assisted us along with some camera footage we are looking at. Deputy Commander of the Grove Police Station Superintendent Janice Minnis offering condolences to the families of the victims but also sharing efforts to beef up police presence in the area of Montel Heights. Officers from my division along with ceasefire, we patrol this area constantly. Um, you know, so it's, it's unfortunate this happened. Police also visiting the Nassau Village area with their hopes of increasing security and ensuring safety for all residents. We were able to put out selective special patrols within the southeastern, especially the Nassau Village area, what seems to be peaking in, 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 in terms of crime. Johnson sharing further details on the victimology of the Faith Avenue South homicide with officers in that area also increasing patrols. He, he appears to be in his early 20s. Um, uh, he is known to the police. With all these various incidents, we have increased our patrols in collaboration with all of the units within the Royal Bahamas Police Force, inclusive of ceasefire, SWAT, the dog section, and mobile division. Also, we have an operation called Operation Eradication, where it's a consistent collaborative partnership with the Bahamas Department of Immigration, Inland Revenue, and the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. And according to Campbell, as Operation Eradication is enhancing the operations of officers, they say these moves will continue to intensify their efforts across the country. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen.